Hey guys, we are talking distance today, specifically the distance between two points. For this example, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? If you want to see me do the same problem using the distance formula, which we actually get from the Pythagorean theorem, I will link a video for you in the corner, okay? But Pythagorean theorem, you're probably familiar with it, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When you hear Pythagorean theorem, you probably think right triangles, right? So how is a theorem with right triangles supposed to help me find the distance between these two points? Great question. I have a visual for you. You're welcome. Okay. So this is the distance we're looking for, right? This is my nine, negative five and six, two. Okay. So I'm looking for how long that line is the distance between those two points. Okay. So how a right triangle can help me is I can make this the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay. You're like, those are big words. Okay. This is all I'm doing is I'm making this a right triangle where that is the hypotenuse or the line, the side across from my right angle. Right now, because these lines are flat, they're not slanted. I can easily know their distance, right? I can just count it. So from here, <clears throat> excuse me, to here, that is a distance of seven. And from here to here, that is a distance of three. You can just count it out, okay? All right, so now I have a right triangle where I know two of the sides. If I know two of the sides, the Pythagorean theorem is what tells me the third side, okay? So I have A and B and I'm looking for C. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label these. We will have um, three BA and seven BB. Okay. <laughs> now, if you flipped those, had 7BA and 3BB, um, you'll end up with the same answer. Okay. So let's go ahead and use our Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So I've got A squared. A is 3. So 3 squared plus B squared, which is 7. 7 squared equals C squared. C is my hypotenuse the one I don't know? So we're leaving that as C squared. That is what we're looking for, right? Now my whole goal is to get C by itself, okay? So what I'm going to do is simplify this down. So three squared is three times three, which gives me nine, plus seven squared gives me 49, and we are still equal to C squared, okay? Now nine, excuse me, 9 plus 49 gives me 58, okay? And we are still equal to C squared. Okay, we are almost done, but I don't want there to be a squared on the C. I just want it to be C equal to something. So to get rid of the squared, I take the square root of that side. If I do it on one side, I got to do it to the other side, right? To keep it balanced. So when I do that, these cancel. And I end up with the square root of 58 equals C. Okay. Now from here, if you plug in the square root of 58 to your calculator, you're going to get a nice nasty decimal. Okay. It's not going to be pretty. So what we typically like to do is see if we can simplify this square root down at all. Now, because I did this problem in advance, I know that this one doesn't simplify any further. If you do need a review on how to simplify these, I'll link one in the corner. But this one does not simplify any further. Square root of 58 is as good as it's going to get. Okay, so that is my answer. The decimal can be helpful to give you kind of an idea of how long it is, right? Because I the square root of 58 doesn't mean a whole lot to me, right? <laughs> so if you do plug that into your calculator, you get 7.61577 and it keeps going, okay? So even though that's not the prettiest decimal, it can help you know, okay, it's a little longer than seven and a half, right? So the decimal can still be helpful, okay? One other thing I wanted to point out is Typically, when we introduce a square root into an equation like this, when we're solving, we usually have our answer have a plus or minus, right? But I didn't do that this time because we were looking for a distance and distance is always positive, right? You can't go a negative distance. So that's why I did not do our plus or minus if you were wondering about that. Okay. All right. I hope this made sense. If you need to check out any of those other videos, they should be linked in the corner for you. But Hopefully this made sense. Thanks. Bye.